We just learned a whole lot more details about the world's largest roller coaster, Falcon's Flight coming to Six Flags Kidia. And guys, you're not ready. We're not ready. No one is. This ride is going to be absolutely insane. I can't believe it. I I know, and it's it's funny because I feel like the overwhelming like thought has been, oh, it's not really happening. I'm no. like, I assure you it is. Yeah. It was like, no, there's no way. Like, oh, everyone saw the initial animation that was released, like, yeah. oh, what, probably two years ago now? And everyone was like making fun of it. They're like, this looks ridiculous. And then they released this animation. They're like, oh no, that was <laughs> that was actually pretty close. They're like halfway done building this thing. It's very yeah. much happening. And we got some stats today. It is uh, not only the longest roller coaster in the world, it is also the fastest and the tallest. Yeah, just absolutely destroying records. So we're looking at over 600 feet in the air. We're just skipping the 500 foot barrier, going straight to 600, 640 feet tall. They're That's, calling it an exit coaster. Yeah, insane. Completely new category of coaster. This is 200 feet taller than King Ka. I can't wrap my head around that. No. I that, do I do think it's interesting that they keep breaking their like Intamin keeps breaking their own yeah, 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 right? <laughs> They're like, oh, I mean, that was pretty good, but, like, we can do better. But think about how long it took for, like, a park to come around to break that record. Like, I mean, granted, I know Cost of Steel has gotten a lot more expensive. You needed a, a park that was just willing to go bold. And the, you have to uh, be really ambitious about yeah. it because, like, it's a brand new, like, type of ride. You never know, like, what's going to happen. But, I mean... If no one ever took a chance on like one of the Stratocoasters, we wouldn't have Transfer yeah. King to cost. So sure. Someone sure. has to bite. Now it's who knows how many of these will actually be built because of, I'm sure it is grotesquely expensive. Oh yeah, this this might be a, a one-time thing, like a, a true one of a kind. I think that's what's gonna make everyone to come out to ride this thing. Almost 14,000 feet of track. That's 13,943. One and a half times longer than the current record holder, Steel Dragon 2000. That is over, around 8,000 feet of track. This is crazy. It's essentially, and especially if you look at the layout, it looks like three different coasters. So yeah. like there's like the beginning portion, then there's the stuff on top of the quarry wall or the cliff, mm -hmm. and then there's everything that happens like down after that in the giant airtime hill. You know, we're talking about like the staffs and stuff and like the highest point of the ride is like in the middle. Like so yeah. it's like the whole thing is absolutely insane and it's going to hit a speed of 156 miles per hour. So that's seven miles per hour faster than the current record holder of Formula Rosa. Again, an another ride that has held on to that record for quite some time now. It's like, ow, like who's gonna be ambitious enough to try to beat this someday? Yeah, yeah, th I, th I feel like this one's gonna hold on to these records for, for a long time. Or uh, someone's gonna hire Intamin and be like, let's do like 642. Can you just, can you just drop the same ride in, but like, somewhere else yeah I have, shoot, <laughs> a little closer to home so we don't have to go all the way to saudi arabia to ride this thing but absolutely i'll I tell you what a lot of people are gonna have their eyes on this thing wanting to make trips out there like especially look the other thing that was announced at uh iapa day one was the sns access right again like full videos of that coming soon but that's like two huge like first of its kind oh, yeah. going to this one part of saudi arabia it's insane the growth that this part of the world is having well, it seems like they kind of want to, like, mirror Dubai. Yeah. And how it's yeah. such an international destination. Like, everyone mm -hmm. goes to Dubai. Like, every yeah. part of the world yeah. goes to Dubai. So, I think their hope is that they can kind of, like, build off of that success. Mm -hmm. um, the difference is with this park compared to, like, the Dubai parks is it feels like they are not necessarily, like dead set on like we have to turn a profit like they just want to do something outrageous yeah we'll just and spend as much money as we can right like yeah just keep like throwing money at like this. let's just make it like the most incredible theme park and you know what they yeah. seem to be doing that like as far as roller coaster like if you're a roller coaster fan i don't know that there's gonna be somewhere like better like you're gonna have an extra coaster you're gonna have a vacoma tilt coaster you're gonna have a gci i don't even know what else is going there but yeah. i know it's a yeah. lot it's a, it's a lot <laughs> yeah because it's insane and like 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 you said earlier, their construction is full steam ahead. Like they're working hard on this thing. Um, I know there's already been like some delays, so I think that the opening year is still very much uh, like, all right, we'll wait and see, like to be yeah. determined what ends up happening. But if they need more time, like I'm not mad. I'd rather them get it right because yeah, it first of all it's like a first of its kind, like and reliability could be an issue. Like I know we probably would 
wait a bit to see how well it was running. Yeah, and, that's the question, right? Um, like everyone wants to see that first test run and then when it eventually opens, it's like, okay, how reliable is it gonna be? Is it gonna break down every time there's a small gust of wind? I hope not, but it's almost yeah. 700 feet in the air, so you never know. Yeah, exactly. Um, but in terms of like capacity, I mean, they seem very prepared for this. We're gonna have six trains, a dual loading station. Hey, whether or not they run all six remains to be seen. I feel Correct. like it yeah. usually is like, oh, we can run this yeah. many. But it, we only run half. Interestingly them. enough, only 14 passengers per train. The yeah. thing is, okay, first of all, we got to see the train reveal at day one of IAPA, and it's insanely cool. It's um, huge. It's gigantic. Like, you've never seen wheels that big. The seating arrangement's interesting. So the front row, you have only two passengers, and they're spread very far apart. Yeah. And it has, a like, a windshield in front of it, so you don't have to wear safety goggles, like... You have to do it when you ride like Red Forest or Formula Rosa yep. or something like that, or even Zodra. Is Zodra in the front row? Yeah, yeah you yeah, never yeah. goggles there, <laughs> but for a coaster that's going to go almost 160 miles an hour, they have found a way around that, which is very, very yeah. cool. Each car is going to have its own windshield. Yes. It'll go first car, two people, and then three cars after that, four people. So it's a total of 14 passengers yes. for the entire train. It makes sense that it's not going to be a hugely long train because, could you imagine being in like, row nine getting yanked over a 600 foot airtime no, mill. No, not at all. I don't even think yeah. that would be safe yeah, the airtime, for human beings to handle. The airtime would be too crazy. Um, yeah, I don't think it would be like, I don't think it's physically possible. So it makes sense that they're smaller. Uh, yeah. And they're not really small. They just don't have, you know, like 28 yeah. people. I, them. I think the train's gonna look real small when you see the size of like this hill. Just the one airtime hill. <laughs> well, it's really funny. Like if you look, you know, talking about size, if you look at like the large, photo where you can see everything in like that area of the park the first lift hill and drop looks puny yeah, yeah. it looks so small I but like, it's really not yeah. i like how you said the area of the park that falcons flight in because the area of the park it's in is the entire park i guess that's it true. goes everywhere it does. falcons flight is the park that is very true okay well you know what i mean yeah but you look at like the first trap and you're like wow that's it looks small but it's actually probably if yeah. i had to guess like over 200 feet and or maybe at least close maybe no i was i'd say probably like maybe upper 100s like maybe just shy of 200 but that that part actually hasn't been revealed yet yeah we don't know for sure but like you know looking at it you're like oh it doesn't look that big when you look at the huge airtime hills but that's not even in the first part of the ride like you said that's somewhere in the middle you know you do like the very beginning part and then you get launched up onto the top of a cliff you have a whole section where you're literally like going off over on the side of the cliff like it's insane yeah i think this ride's gonna be like very intimidating Oh, it's extremely. I, I think it's gonna scare a lot of people. Oh, I, I know it'll scare me. Like I, I think it's it's not like because I think something bad will happen. No, I think no, it's I sheer it. nerves of like the unknown of like what will this feel like? Because I know yeah. what it feels like on your body to go a certain speed, you know, or like a certain height in the air, and like this is so beyond. Let us know down in the comments below what you guys think of this thing. I think it looks nuts and I, like yeah. again, it's I know it's like a believe it when I see it, but just every once in a while when you see the actual photos of the construction it's like this thing is is happening and it's it's gonna open i think because it's so outlandish like you're like you can't help in, but deny it yeah you're in denial yeah. yeah i i think between this announcement and getting like an animation will help it sink in but i don't think it'll feel real until i am standing in front of it and gawking at the fact that i'm yeah. looking at what is essentially double the height of fury yeah which, standing next to Fury, I feel like tiny, yeah. and I'm like, oh, oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Absolutely insane, guys. So, we hope that you enjoyed this breakdown of Falcon's Flight coming to Six Flags Kadia, and stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios. We'll see you next time.